Recently, I've been getting a few questions about Shopify Hydrogen, so I thought it was about time I address this topic and why I don't think learning Hydrogen is the best idea for most of you watching. Let me explain. Okay, so before we get into it, let's clarify what Shopify Hydrogen is and talk about what purpose it serves within Shopify. Shopify Hydrogen is Shopify's own headless e-commerce framework used to build storefronts on Shopify, and it's an alternative to what I mostly cover here on this channel, at least up until this point, themes. I first covered Hydrogen back in 2022 here on YouTube through my video, Shopify Hydrogen Development, Four Things You Need to Know, and I went through the short history of Hydrogen, starting in 2021 with the announcement of the headless e-commerce framework and finishing in 2022 when version one came out alongside Oxygen, Shopify's development platform for Hydrogen, directly hosted within the Shopify platform. Like most of you guys watching, I was initially excited by Hydrogen when it came out as well and made an additional YouTube video and a four hour Skillshare class on the subject. But after that, I simply quit with Hydrogen completely. Why is that? Well, from my perspective, Hydrogen didn't really take off. While it's hard to find some hard stats on Hydrogen adoption, this website has it at just under 2000 live installs on Shopify sites. Now that might seem like a lot, but when you compare it to the total number of Shopify sites, according to the same source, it comes out to around 0.04% of all Shopify sites. Why is this important to me? Because currently I'm a freelancer who helps Shopify sellers as a front-end developer. And if 99.96% of Shopify sites are simply using themes, it shows that it's a very niche market within an already niche market that actually need headless developers. But honestly, I'd rather trust my actual experience here rather than just pure numbers. And to put it quite simply, I don't recall a single Shopify seller who has approached me who wasn't using a theme as their storefront. Like probably yourself, headless e-commerce appealed to the geek within me, and it was something I was happy to adapt if it was to take off. But I generally only continue learning skills which I can put into practice, and without any clients using Hydrogen, I didn't have much incentive to continue with it. Now, to give Hydrogen some credit, a few years ago, I was working at a global agency, employs around few hundred employees worldwide, and there was a department there that worked on Hydrogen websites, but this department was completely separate to the department that I worked in that handled themes. I mentioned this to point out that apart from both connecting to Shopify, Hydrogen and theme development are actually very different. And in terms of skill sets, it seems to be that Hydrogen is just another framework for React developers to learn, whereas theme development is something that applies to millions of stores, but is also very niche in its operation even using its own templating language, Shopify Liquid. And especially when it comes to freelancing, I'm yet to discover a single freelancer who has worked on a hydrogen storefront, compared to the dozens of freelancers I know who work on themes. So why is it that hydrogen hasn't taken off? Well, I could probably point to a few different reasons, but the biggest one that has become apparent to me is that hydrogen storefronts miss out on one of the best features of Shopify themes, the online store editor. From the perspective of a store owners, all they gotta do is click this customize button. And if the theme developer has done their job correctly, they can edit content and move around sections via a user interface that perfectly blends in with the rest of the Shopify admin. And from the developer's perspective, I can easily expand upon this UI to provide more options by editing these simple JSON structures called schemas. Now, to be fair, there are some pre-built CMSs on the market that we can plug into a hydrogen storefront to provide this, and some even emulate the look of the Shopify online store editor, but these services are of course not Shopify and will incur an extra cost to run and use. Contrast this to just using a Shopify theme, which is pre-installed and working with the online store editor at no extra cost from the moment you click to create a new store on Shopify. And if you wanna use a different theme, i.e. update your storefront to a different look and feel, there's a whole marketplace of themes that you can simply install without any technical know-how. I mean, why would any Shopify store owner want to go to the trouble of switching storefront solutions? Well, let's talk about that next. It's become quite clear to me that Hydrogen is for a very niche subset of Shopify sellers. These sellers are typically more enterprise and have other platforms and systems that their Shopify storefront needs to connect to. They have reached the limits of what can be achieved using Shopify themes, and they are willing to invest in headless software infrastructure along with a custom CMS for updating content. 
Of course, these companies can be highly valuable to your portfolio if you were to sign them on as a development partner, but with such high development needs, these companies are more likely to turn to a software agency than a freelancer like you or me. And so why Hydrogen has its place, I think it's more a framework for React developers to learn rather than something for Shopify specialist freelance developers. If that's you, great. I don't think there's any problem learning a skill that you're genuinely interested in, but it really depends on your end goal. If you're getting into app development, learning how to build user interfaces with React and want to add Hydrogen to your arsenal, great, go right ahead. But if your goal is to tap into the lucrative niche of up to 5 million Shopify stores running themes as a freelance developer, the choice, I think, is still very clear. I know that Shopify is continuing to invest in Hydrogen, but they are also improving upon Shopify themes. It's not that one is better than the other, it's just two very different camps, one that applies to 99.95% of stores and the other the rest. One is more complicated to learn and build with, the other is as simple as it gets. The choice is yours. If you wanna learn more about Hydrogen, honestly, I'm not looking to create any more content on Hydrogen at this stage. But of course, if you're interested in learning theme development, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And if you wanna go deeper, head to shopifythemedeveloper.com to sign up for a free mini course today. I'm gonna to leave you there, guys. If you have anything to add to this discussion, feel free to add a comment below this video. Otherwise, happy coding, and I'll see you on the next one.